Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, it's been such a long time since I've cooked anything on the hobo stove outside. I thought I'd go ahead and do one this morning. I think I've got everything laid out that I'll need back there. Heaping tablespoon of Folgers coffee, salt and pepper, toothpick, some bread, and a cup for the coffee. And let's go ahead and put a dab of this in there. So, got a little bit of snow here in upstate South Carolina. Let's head on back there and see what we can come up with. I'm hungry. Right, I found a little bit of dry wood to put on there. It didn't take forever if I just keep using this wet wood that's been out in this rain and this snow. Go. Let me put you back on time lapse. I'm glad I looked in there because it's too full. How bad would that be after working that hard to dry out my wood and my fuel to put it all out because I was boiling over the top of that pot right there? Let's put it back on time lapse. I don't think it'd be long now. All right. This dry wood made the difference. We got our boil on right now. You can see it. Got some floaters in there, but I don't care. And here's our coffee. Now I just pour it in there, let it steep for 10 minutes, and it makes the best coffee. So hold on. You remember this? Let me disassemble it and we'll go ahead and make some toast. Flames off the handle until the wind direction changes.
I love cooking outside. Cooking on the hobo stove. If you'll notice, my hobo stove is in every single one of my videos, whether I'm using it or not. I've had a few people over the years ask me if I would sell it to them, and even one guy knew the reason why I didn't sell them. Because I have so many sharp edges on them. Most people don't have tough skin on their hands like I do, and I don't want anybody to get caught. So even this one fellow asked me, he said, I don't care if it if you think it'll cut me, please sell me one. I said, no, you'll have to go to my hobo stove build playlist and make one of your own. But uh, I like the little hobo stove. When I first started out five or six years ago, I guess it's seven years ago now, that's what I started doing. I started trying to figure out what kind of a stove I'd like to have, so I tried gasifiers and I never, I never got around to rocket stoves. I almost tried a rocket stove. And um, so finally I tried different designs and this one with the elevated floor, I found was the best. It's the quickest starting and the hottest burning. So, and I think I've pretty much proven that over the years too. Let's give it a little more time. I'll take it out of there, put a little more butter in there, and toast this side. All right, that's about right. We're getting some heat on there now, ain't we? Let's go ahead and pour up the coffee. And there's the grounds left over in it. Y'all think what a fall, don't you? Y'all think I'm from South Carolina, but indeed I am not. I was raised in Connecticut back in the day when they used to have lots of snow till I was 15 years old. So you got to imagine me as a kid doing all the sledding and uh, seeing how far I could slide down a frozen sidewalk, you know, run and slide on my feet and tobogganing and everything else. Let me get this out of here before it burns. So, it may be, uh, it may be 45 years later, but I still know how, I feel like to feel I still have traction in snow and know how to hold myself up on a slippery surface. All right, let me go ahead and try out our coffee. Now that pan is too hot. I'm gonna take the pan off and let it cool a little bit, put my butter in it and start making my egg. And since it's going on the sandwich, we'll break the yolk. And now we'll go ahead and put all this good cheese on here and set that hot egg on top of it. We're getting there. Coffee's good too. Oh, happy day. Well, 
little bit of salt and pepper. You never really want to cook an egg fast. Sometimes when you're cooking outside on stove, you don't have a thermostat, so you end up cooking it faster than you want to, but slow cooked eggs make for tender, delicate eggs instead of the rubbery ones. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's probably it's probably 11 o'clock already. I think I started about 9, 9-ish. It just took forever for that wet wood to take off, which, I mean, I know, wet wood, wet wood fires are so aggravating. You just better be prepared. You better have some patience because you're sure going to wait for everything to dry out and then build up some coals. It's done. see what we got here oh that's not a prettier side there's the black pepper right there it's gonna be pretty when I eat it though Heavenly Father thank you for this food thank you for another beautiful glorious day in Jesus name I pray amen it's not too hot to eat believe me mmm The typical taste and crunch of like um, grilled cheese sandwiches, when you toast bread in the pan, it has that taste. That extra sharp cheese is awesome. And the egg and bologna are great. Oh man. I hate to chew this close to the to the camera because the the microphone is so sensitive. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. I'm gonna finish my breakfast and go in the house and get warm. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.